I'm Rick Murphy. Today I'd like to tie for you one of our favorite local still water patterns. It's called the Scudzilla. We'll start by wrapping the hook, which is a Dairiki 285 size 12 with about 15 to 20 wraps of 0 .015 lead wire. Once we have that added, smooth it out a little bit. And I'm going to use 8 aught olive dun thread. Wrap that on, kind of lock that lead in there so it doesn't shift much. Leave the thread towards the tail. For the tail section, we're going to use some mall olive mallard flank. Maybe have it extend about, oh, a quarter inch, maybe a little bit less. Wrap that in at the back. Last couple wraps make it kind of soft so it doesn't really spread out, kind of holds its shape. Trim off the excess. Add some medium copper wire. Then we're going to take some medium, large, excuse me, large pearl mylar. Add that. And for the dubbing, we're going to be using Gray Olive Scud Antron Dubbing from Spirit River. Spread it out a little bit. Mother Nature's Dubbing Wax. Wrap a nice tapered body on the hook. Kind of bulk it up. It's too hard to get a good shape if you just glob a whole pile of dubbing. It's better to add it a little at a time and you can work on the shape that you want. Then bring the mylar over the top, tie it off. You want to always pull straight down on the bobbin. That's going to leave the mylar right on top every time. If you pull at an angle, pull towards you, you're going to end up twisting it a little bit. Do the same thing with the wire. Pull it straight down every time. That's going to keep that mylar on top. Tie it off. Whip finish the head. Dr. Slick has a new brass dubbing tool. It basically looks like a uh, rifle cleaning brush. It makes picking out legs absolutely no-brainer. Just push down a few times on both sides with the brush. Then just take a scissor and trim the legs so they're about even with the barb of the hook. And there you have the Scudzilla.